guys, it's Sierra, and today I'm going to show you how to make cookies. And yeah, my brother Cole is going to be with me today. Say hi. Hi. Okay, so yeah, let's move on. Um, I have my cookbook out, but I almost already memorized it. But since you guys might want to make these cookies, I'm going to read it. Yeah. Let's go. Yum, look at these cookies with a glass of milk. Oh joy, this is what you're going to be making. Yep, in this side. Okay, let's get to the ingredients. First, let's start with the tools. This does not work that well with cookies because it is a dough kind of cookie thing. Spatulas, spatulas work on scraping things out of a bowl. Also, it doesn't work on cookies, unless you like pushing hard around. The wooden spoon. The best invention. Sorry, I have 20%. Okay, where was I? Wooden spoon. Use this object. It's dangerous, too. Very. Wait, what? Okay, so use that for cookies. Next, you're going to need some teaspoons. Okay, um, if you don't have metal teaspoons that work the best because they're the easiest, um, you can also use uh, these, this thing that goes like that and has those things, or get out of the way. Or you can use those, the, the camera, or you can use those things. But I don't know where all mine are, so I'm going to use the metal ones, right? Sure. Okay, let's get on. Because everybody's so happy and jolly. Okay, so get all your utensils. Wait. Bowls. You're going to need two bowls. You're going to need a small bowl. Whee! Ah! Sorry, guys. Uh, you're, and you're going to need a big bowl. Maybe not quite this big, but... Big enough. Can you stop that? That's very annoying. Okay, so get all your utensils out and I'll be right back. Hi guys, it's back. I'm back. And, well, these are your ingredients. I have markings on here that are for a double batch. I'm going to be doing a double batch and if you want to, you can too. I'll tell you um, and you might want to write them down. Or you can do the single batch, your choice. But in the double batch, you're gonna need two packs of chocolate chips and a lot more butter. Okay, so um, our first one is gonna be flour. You're gonna need two and one fourth cups of flour. Regular white flour, all proposed flour, not wheat, f not wheat flour works best because it tastes better this kind of flour. Yeah, the ones that you like to play in. Don't go in there, you're gonna turn white. Not meaning to be racist or anything. But that's flour. Okay, just come back here. Um, if you're gonna do a single batch, you're gonna need two and one fourth cups. If you're gonna do a double batch, you're gonna need uh, I don't know if you can see it. Okay. One and a half. No, four and a half cups. So you're going to need double amount if you're doing a double batch. It only makes sense. But I'm just giving you the math because I'm nice. And yes, this is going to be in parts because, like, it takes a long time to upload. Yes, it does. And, um, yeah. Let's get scooping. And you might want to write down the measurements and the ingredients. If you're doing a single batch, do two and one fourth cups of all proposed flour. And if you're doing a double batch, do four and one half cups of flour. Stop! Right where you are. First, you forgot one main thing. You forgot to preheat your oven. So did I, but I always do that. Um, and this recipe, you're going to have to preheat your oven to, if I can see it, 
Preheat oven to 375 in a small bowl, combined flour. Let's get our small bowl. Get out of here, big bowl. You're not special anymore. And we're gonna put, I'm gonna do a double batch because I'm awesome and I'm gonna share with my class. Yes, that's right, Shauna. Shauna doesn't even watch my YouTube. What am I talking about? Um, yeah, let's go. One, poof. I love how it does that. Two, I don't know if I have enough. I'll have to go in the pantry and get some more. Yeah. I'm going to shorten up the other videos, but stick around for part two, guys. I'm going to put this in a playlist. I organize all my videos in playlists. Say bye. Bye. Bye, guys. And, yes, put your flour in the bowl, the small bowl. And pre preheat your oven to 375. I still need to do that. Don't eat it. Bye, guys.